Hey, Steven here. What's the difference between a chip shot and a pitch shot? Today we're going to talk about chipping. A chip shot is a shot that flies in the air and then rolls. And the roll is actually longer than the, the flight onto the green. There are two different philosophies you can have when chipping. You can take one club, maybe it's your favorite club, maybe it's a 56 degree wedge or a, or a 58 degree lob wedge, and you can have different shaft positions to be able to change the different types of loft. If I want to hit the ball a little bit longer, I have the shaft leaning back. If I want to hit the ball a little bit shorter, I have the shaft leaning forward. Or you can have one setup, hit the ball and, and uh, hit the green in the same spot every time and then just change your clubs depending on how far you want the ball to roll. For me, I find that teaching my students, this is the easiest way to make this work. Okay? Take our setup. We find that hitting the ball on the green the same way produces the same type of swing. And then our job really is to, to know how long each club would roll on, on normal conditions. If I have a 7 iron, it's going to roll a particular way. If I have a sand wedge, it's going to roll a particular way. So today I'm going to go through a little uh, of the setup positions and then uh, demonstrate a couple of shots here. I have a sand wedge here. Okay. When I hit this shot, I want, number one, to have a very narrow stance. Okay. I don't need a big swing here, so I don't need a big wide stance. So I like to have my stance approximately two club heads wide here. Okay. Number two, I like to have the ball position in the middle of my stance. Why in the middle of your stance? Okay, Haven't you heard that the ball should be in the right, uh, right part of your stance? For me, I like it in the middle. When we move it to the right, we get the shaft leaning forward. And then we start using this leading edge uh, a lot more. And what ends up happening a lot is that we dig down into the ground. My goal is to have a clean hit when I hit the ground. So I want to use the bounce of the club. So that's why I like the ball in the middle of my stance. So we have a, a very narrow stance. We have the ball in the middle of our stance. And because we're going to hit the ball a little bit lower, I need probably 70% of my weight on my left foot here. Okay? So I feel like the club is slightly leaning forward here. All right? The next part is the swing. Okay? And what's really important with this swing is that I want to have a consistent tempo. One, two, one, two. And I want to hit the ground consistently. If I take away the ball here and, and practice this one, two feeling while hitting the ground, I want to feel like the club is just bouncing off the ground consistently every time. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? So, so far we got the setup. Narrow stance, ball in the middle, and my weight forward. We got the, the feeling of tempo, one, two, and we're going to hit the ground. Now, how far should we swing to try to get the ball on the green? Well, for me, I like to fly the ball approximately two to three yards onto the green. So that requires a swing that's, oh, maybe a yard back and a yard through. Okay, I don't need a longer swing. I'm not, I'm not going to be carrying the ball very far. So if I hit a shot here, go through my setup, one, two, one, two. I'm just trying to land the ball about two yards on. Okay, do it again. Land the ball about two yards on. Okay, this is a very consistent way to, uh, to play a p uh, chip shot. Okay, and then my goal when I'm going through and trying to figure out how long does every, uh, does every club roll is go ahead and put a, uh, a club about two meters on, two yards on, and then go through your entire bag. Go from six iron up to a sand wedge. And what you're going to want to feel is if I land the ball two, three yards on, how far does this ball roll? Okay, and just kind of get a sense of, all right, set up, tempo, hit the ground, land the ball two, two, three yards on, how far does it roll? Okay, next time you're wanting to learn how to chip, just think of it this way. One swing, one technique, land the ball approximately the same on the green every time, and then change your clubs, 
you're going to be a much better chipper.